Terra, the boss, Moss, coming to you live from Bucket Fight Club, where you can see nobody's here. Ooh, we're so sad about that. Anyway, I know you guys are all really bored and you wanna know what kind of workout you can do at home. I see a lot of videos going up that I don't really like. They're okay, but they're a little boring. So I'm gonna try not to bore you with uh, bore you guys with that kind of stuff. I'm gonna give you some things you can do at home, but at least it's gonna be more fun. The first thing you know you can do is to get a slip rope. So I've got this strung up here in the ring. As you guys know that you train with me and you know we always have this up here, but you can get a rope and put it in your house between, I don't know, a couple trees. Or you can put it, you know, I don't know, between something. It won't be so boring. Anyway, so this will give you a chance to work this rope. And if you're gonna work the rope, you wanna do some advanced technical training. What you can do is think about a few things. You're gonna be thinking about your footwork. You're gonna be thinking about where you put your punches, okay? And you're gonna be thinking about the angles that you're gonna move on the rope, okay? Remember, this rope is like a jab or like somebody's head, okay? If, it's, if you're hitting it's their head, if you're slipping it, it's a jab, okay? What you wanna do is remember, you've got linear movements going forward and back and dipping under and forward and back. And then you've got angles. If you wanna know what an angle is, come here, I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna stand right here. He's gonna stay right there. He's gonna stay right there, all right? And I'm gonna show you what an angle is. Basically, if this rope is a straight line, the angle is gonna be here or here. You see that on? or here, those are all angles, okay? It's like a slice of pizza. It doesn't matter if it's this big, or if it's that big, or if it's that big. The point is, is you're cutting an angle. Sometime I cut an angle here. See how I'm cutting that angle? This is my angle right here. Or I might go here. That's a wider angle, a tighter angle, another angle. See that? That's different than just doing linear movements, which is here and here. I mean, those have a place too. So you work those in between. You cut an angle, you work a linear movement. Boom, an angle, another angle, see that? That gives you a little bit more to do with your rope. So if you're gonna practice this at home, first thing you wanna do is work on your, your angles. And the way you're gonna do that is, a lot of it depends on where you look at the rope, okay? So you've got, here you go on a little bit closer. All right, you've got, if I'm looking at this rope, I'm not gonna look at the rope in front of me, I'm gonna look all the way down here. My rope is long. I'm gonna look right here at this circle because I have a focal point and I'm looking at that. So no matter where I'm at on the rope, I'm not looking at this rope in front of me. I'm looking at the rope way down there because I'm looking at the, the, like the infinity point, which if I'm looking at a person, I want that to be their chin. So it doesn't matter where I'm at, I'm focusing on that chin. I'm focusing on that chin, see? Boom, boom, just like that, okay? So you wanna find that place right where your rope ties up and focus right there. Keep your eyes right there. That way you've got a focal point and you're not really looking directly at where you're punching. As we know, you know, we don't wanna look where we punch. If I look down there and punch down there, you can see it coming, right? So if I, you know, you wanna be able to keep your eyes focused on their eyes, on their chin, you know, and then cut your angles around there and work it like that and use a little of that peripheral vision. I'm not a big fan of looking at the chest, but I know a lot of trainers teach that, so I'm not gonna dog that. I prefer to look in their eyes, right in their face so I can see everything they're thinking and I can see what they're throwing. Okay? So for you, what you want to do is remember, cut those angles. If you want to, sometimes I'll chop my hands like this so that I can see the angle. I can see that piece of pie right there. There's another one. Here, okay? Here, boom, boom, boom. See, I'm working angles around the, around the rope, okay? And not only that, you can work those uppercuts a lot from angles. Boom, boom. You don't have to just, you know, throw a straight uppercut here or drop down straight here. You can do both of those, okay? but you can also shoot them from an angle. Shoot them from an angle, boom, okay? So you got that to work on, you got your angles, your focal point, okay? And especially, get, I'd probably get a good long rope so you got room to work. Now you're talking about your footwork right here, okay? So look down at my feet on, you see these amazing little shoes? They're amazing. Anyway, so basically when you're working your feet, you wanna be able to take short little choppy steps, no matter what I do. If you look up top again on, that's my video guy on, he hadn't been able to go home for about four weeks. So. <laughs> He's stuck here with us. Anyway, you see I'm moving up here. I'm, I'm taking some space, I'm moving my head. But if you look below at my feet, they're barely moving, see? So I'm putting a lot of it in my upper body. I'm putting a lot of it in my head movement, my shoulders. But the feet are always taking a little short choppy step, no matter how I move, okay? If I wanna move here, there, if I stand around, I'm taking short choppy steps, see that? Okay? Also, you can spin on the rope if you want to play with a little bit. Mostly, I just like to show off on the rope. It's just like skipping rope. Skipping rope is good, but not everything is 
practical in the ring maybe, but it's still good drills, good drills. So you can spin on the rope as much as you want it, okay? Just like that, boom, 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 okay? Boom, and see how I spin, spin. It's all gonna be in the footwork and the hair. Anyway, so just uh, when, you're, when you're doing that, what you wanna look at is your feet down here. I'm gonna take a step here, I'm gonna step, step. Now I just take a whole spin. I'm gonna step here, step back, step. See my feet are just taking little steps, but look up top, you can see what I'm doing. It's a lot of movement up here. See, boom. See me spinning on the rope? Yeah, my feet are doing these little bitty movements. See, boom, 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 boom. Then I step, boom, 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 okay? Another thing you can work on with the rope is, everything doesn't have to go up and down the rope this way. You can work the rope from this way too, okay? You can dip under, move under, move around, boom, 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 boom. Work in, work out, boom, boom, see that? Step to the side. Just remember, you don't have to, you have to follow all the rules. Side to side, boom, boom, close, outside, okay? Boom, around, boom, boom, see that? Get you to throw some punches, take some angles, boom. Back in here, now I'm going linear. See how you gotta mix it up a little bit. Boom. Anyway, that's about five minutes. That's like the longest class I've ever done. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else I can feed. If you guys got questions, just roll me some and I'll get, get back to you um, with those on my social media. We got Buckhead Fight Club on Instagram. We got Buckhead Fight Club on Facebook. We'll be doing these both places. So um, anyway, just let me know how you feel about it. Give yourself something new to do. Work your angles front and back. Keep those feet together. Let's see some feet one more time. Huh? Give me some feet there. Boom, 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 see? See, I'm moving, little front and back. Okay, moving around. Boom, see that? To the side, boom, just like that, okay? I know you can do it just like that. Anyway, I wanna see some videos. Post me your videos on your ropes. And then we'll get more tomorrow. Um, we got Jazz Walker coming to make some videos for us that'll look a little better than this one. Cause poor Anna making him do videos. So <laughs> anyway, we can't wait to see you guys back here. Signing out, boom, that's it.